Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Welcome to part 2 of the how to create a top down 2D shooter tutorial. And today we are going to be adding the player's weapon or gun into the game, which is obviously required for a top down shooter. So that's going to be today's part. We might be adding ammo and reloading in this part too, or that might be the next part, I'm not too sure yet. But let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add another event onto our player object. It's going to be a create event. And in this create event, we're going to set up some basic variables that the player is going to need to run the game. So first thing I'm going to say is the player's HP or our life's. Next thing I'm going to do is shoot cooldown equals zero. And that's it for now. I'll add the reloading variables when we need that, but basically HP is the representing player's health points and shoot cooldown is going to be used as a timer so that your player can't just shoot as fast as they want, there's an actual cooldown to them shooting. So next thing you need to do is go back to the step event inside of your player object and you're going to do make a little note, just say shoot and just write what I write. And say if mouse underscore check underscore button mb underscore left then little squirrely brackets so this is going to say every frame if the player is pushing down on the left mouse button so if they're holding it or if they're clicking it then you're going to want to say if shoot cooldown is less than or equal to zero squirrely bracket so this is going to check if your cooldown is zero so if you're able to shoot next thing we're going to say is the next thing we're going to do is actually create our bullet object so you're going to need to go to your sprites right click on sprites, create sprite and then import so you need to go find an image for your bullet so I am just going to go open paint.net and make one really quickly your bullet can be whatever you want it to look like for me I'm just going to do a small yellow square because that's the quickest and easiest thing to do in this tutorial is mostly to just show you the coding and setting it up, the artwork, there's not much that I can teach you about doing for the game. It's basically just make it however you think looks good. Go back to my desktop. Um, tutorial game assets, sprites, SPR bullet. So now if you go back into Game Maker Studio 2, you're going to want to import SPR bullet and set it to middle center. I'm going to rename the sprite to SPR bullet and there's your bullet sprite set up. Next thing you're going to need to do is create an object and call it OBJ bullet. Give it the sprite and there you go. Now what you want to do is go back to your player object and say instance underscore create underscore layer open close brackets a semicolon then you need to say x y instances with a capital I in quotations then obj bullet so this is going to say when you left click, if you're not on cooldown, then create a new ob new instance of the bullet object, and you're going to create it on the instances layer at the X and Y position of the player, so spawn a bullet where the player is. Next thing you need to do is say shoot cooldown equals then however many frames you want. 
So for example, the game runs at 60 FPS, say 45, a bit under a second. Next thing we need to do is make it so that your cooldown actually goes down. So just make a new comment at the bottom of your code and color reductions. And just say, shoot cooldown minus equals one. So now if we test this, hopefully when we click it should spawn a bullet object at the position of the player. Yep. As you can see there is a cool, slight cooldown on it too. It spawns underneath the player so you can't see it unless I move but it is spawning them. So now the next thing that you're going to need to do is make it so that your bullet obviously moves through the air which that's like necessary, it wouldn't be much of a shooter game if you just spawned your bullet and it stood still. So you're going to go to your obj bullet, add a create event, and type three lines of code to make it work. So bullet, I'm going to say direction equals point underscore direction x y mouse underscore x mouse underscore y image underscore angle equals direction speed equals 15 so this is saying the direction of your bullet so move the bullet in the direction of the like direction between your player character and where your mouse is so just move the bullet from your player character to your mouse the image angle is the same as the direction, so the bullet faces whatever way it's moving, and speed equals 15. You can change that higher or lower to make your bullet move faster or slower, however you want. As you can see, the bullet now shoots towards the mouse, and it faces the way it's shooting as well. So if that's a little too fast or a little too slow bullet for you, you can just change the speed variable and it will edit the speed at which the bullet moves. So next thing we're going to be doing is adding some ammo. So you're going to need to go back to your player object and go into your create event. Now what you're going to say is ammo equals 10. I'm choosing 10 because that's what I want my clip size to be, however many bullets they shoot before they can reload. You can set that to whatever you want. Or also mine to 3 right now. We're going to say reloading equals 0. Now you're going to need to go back to the step event. And down here in between shoot and reductions, I'm going to make a new comment called reload. And then going to say if Board underscore check board R. So when the player presses the R key, and ammo is less than three or whatever your max clip size is, so just make it so they can't reload if they have full ammo. Open squiggly bracket, close squiggly bracket. <clears throat> so now that you have that, we're saying when the player presses R, if they don't have max ammo, then do whatever is inside this block of code. We're going to say reloading equals 120. So basically, if your game is 60 FPS, you're going to this reloading variable determines how long it takes the player to reload. So if you want to take one second, you would say like 60, half a second, 30, two seconds, 120, and so on. I'm choosing two seconds. Then you just need to say ammo equals three, whatever your max clip size is. And now what you need to do, so that's it I think. See here, I'll go back up to your shooting and say, if shot cooldown is less than or equal to zero and ammo is less than oh, ammo is greater than zero and 
reloading is less than or equal to zero. So if they're not on a shoot cooldown, if they have ammo and they're not reloading, then you can shoot. So now if I click play, they should let us shoot three times, and then we shouldn't be able to shoot again until we press reload, hit wait two seconds, and then shoot again. So one, two, three. Oh, that's odd. Oh, I forgot. Inside your shoot, after you set your shoot cooldown, you have to say ammo minus equals one. Now, if I test this, it should work. One, two, three. As you can see, I can no longer shoot. You can hear me clicking. If I press R on my keyboard, can't shoot until the two seconds is up. Oh, go down to your reductions. I keep forgetting stuff. Make sure you go down to your reductions and write reloading minus equals one. So that your reloading variable can actually get back down to zero. If you need to pause the video at any point, don't hesitate to just pause the video, look at the code and copy it down. Um, it's not cheating at all. Just take as much time as you need to follow along when you're on the video, pause the video to make sure you get everything right. Two, three, can't shoot, press reload. And then we can shoot three more. So I just want to change my clip size to 10. I just wanted it set to three so that we could test it quicker without having to shoot 10 bullets or reload and shoot 10 more bullets. So 10, 10, back to create 10. So there we go. So that's going to be it for this part guys. We set up the player's weapon in this part. So the shooting and reloading of the gun, the gun system is done. The next part I'm going to be showing you how to create an enemy and have that enemy chase the player around the map and deal damage to the player when it collides with the player. So stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video, turn on post notifications, leave a comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see in the future, and join the Discord channel. The link to that is in the description. See you all next time.